let us derive rocket equation hundred second law fs equal to m dv by dt v is the vehicle velocity m is the mass of the vehicle and f is the force so if aerodynamic drag and weight of the vehicle is very small compared to this this force then thrust can be written as t is equal to m dv by dt in terms of specific impulse thrust can be written as w dot isp weight flow rate of the current is equal to m dot g naught isp mass flow rate of uh, propellant so m dot can be written as minus dmp by dt because the mass from the mass of the propellant will reduce every time with respect to time if suppose we took m1 as initial propellant mass then m1 will decrease after a certain time become m2 so m2 will be lesser than this m1 this change in the mass of propellant will change the vehicle's mass we can also write this term as minus dm by dt substitute m dot is equal to minus dm by dt in here thrust is equal to minus dm by dt g naught isp now this equation thrust is the same so we can write this like m dv by dt equal to minus dm by dt g naught isp cancel take dv by g naught isp on one side and minus dm by m on another side so take m i s initial mass mf as final mass and vb as burn out velocity then integrate this term integrate with respect to 0 to vb dv by g naught isp equal to minus integral m i m f d m by m integral 0 to v p v d v by g naught isp can be written as integral m f m i d m by m integrating this term will give V B by G naught ISP equal to ln of M I by M F V B equal to G naught ISP ln M I by M F This is the rocket equation if effective exhaust velocity equal to g naught isp then 
Bonnet velocity can be written as exist velocity ln of mi by m of 